It's Hot Talk time. Larry Flint is hustling the governor's gal. Brittany's keeping her right-hand man at an arm's distance. And Halle Berry birthed a baby. Mark Kay from WAPE is here to... Oh, you know, <laughs> I read your blog, by the way, from well, last you, week. Well, you loved my hat so much last <laughs> week. I thought I would surprise you with a, a very special day, Patty's Day hat. Ah, top of the morning to you. Cheers. Top of the morning to you. I like that you're wearing green. Well, I had to, didn't I? I, you know, no one around here is wearing green. I'm the only one. Really? I know. No festivity here at the big, big ape. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. Halle Berry gave birth on what Saturday it was. Isn't huh? that amazing? Yes, she gave birth to a baby girl. Her oh. and her super hot uh, hubby uh, yeah. actor. Oh, I'm sorry, boyfriend actor. They're not married. Model. Uh, yeah. He is fantastic, and she is doing great. The baby also is great too. Uh, Cedar Sinai was, was the birthplace, and uh, they're not letting any records uh, slip this time. So we will, <laughs> we do not know uh, anything else other than she had a baby girl. Name pending. Pictures pending. I'm sure they'll go to the highest bidder as well. Oh, and I'm sure that baby is going to be gorgeous because oh. two of them my it, gosh yeah if it's not they better do a dna test yeah, yeah really uh britney spears uh there's some new doings with her so-called manager this is so interesting yeah sam lutvi who was uh you know uh, less of a manager more of a leech uh, had a uh, had a uh, restraining order for about 30 days against him and it expired well he voluntarily said he will stay away from britney for another 30 days because he thinks it's better for her and he says it's actually better for him however uh, the uh, conservator of britney spears estate her father Father Jamie Spears and her parents and everybody else involved is saying that's not good enough for us. They're filing an extension anyway, but it looks like Sam Lutvi will not be back uh, sucking the life out of Britney Spears anytime soon. So that is really good news for her. Yeah, her family wants to make it a permanent injunction, correct? They they sure do. They don't want him having anything to do with her. I mean, they, they, they've accused him of drugging her and uh, brainwashing her and taking her money and basically controlling her life, which pretty much is, is by his own admission, what he did. So best for all parties involved if, yeah, they ixnay the yeah. AMSA utvilay relationship <laughs> yeah but he said you know i had to give her these pills because it made her feel much better yeah, yeah. that's debatable well, i guess it right? made one of them feel better i'm not sure which one <laughs> which one <but. laughs> um on to elliot spitzer now as of noon time today mark he will no longer be the governor of new york i know today is the day that he hands over the reins to uh patterson right yeah lieutenant it, governor Patterson. yeah as the lieutenant governor uh which will be very exciting news of course the exciting news for his well, I don't want to call her a love interest. I guess we'll just call her, you know, his favorite prostitute, Kristen, or Ashley Alexandra Dupre, is that she got an offer from Hustler Magazine. We knew these offers were going to come in. We just weren't sure uh, who was going to be first. Turns out Larry Flint is ponying up $1 million uh, for, the, uh, for the former call girl slash musician to pose naked in the pages of Hustler. Again, no word from her as to whether or not she's going to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a debate here. I think she will. Chris Gamble, my co-host, says no way she's holding out for more money. You think, yeah, is that what Chris thinks? I, you know, I don't know. 500000 is the going rate for scandalous women in these magazines. A million is a pretty big first offer. And I don't know that Playboy is going to top it. They may think that this is too trashy for their pages. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. You that's, know, it's, it's, hard it's to really say a laughing. sad situation all the way around, isn't it? It really is. I know. Girl goes to New York to become a famous musician and ends up bringing down a governor and, and being the world's most famous call girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And then finally, let's talk about a 20-pound lobster. Man, 20-pound lobster. If you went out to any restaurant in town at $26 a pound, that would cost you more than I make in a month and a half. But it was uh, <laughs> it was auctioned off to a woman named Marlene Cassiano in Taunton, which I think is up north somewhere near near uh, Boston. But there you can see there's an average size lobster, the kind I can afford. And and there's the big honking lobster that she won, 20 pounds. Uh, and when asked what she was going to do with it, she said at first she was going to release it back into the wild, but now she says she's going to donate it actually to a uh, to a marine biologist to do some studies on. It is illegal actually to eat any lobsters. I think that are over five pounds, but a lobster that big is protected by the National Lobster and Wildlife Foundation of America. Is that I'm, right? Yeah. So uh, she yeah. said, you know, she's going to donate it to science, which is kind of nice. I'll tell you though, a little a uh, little butter sauce and some garlic. Oh, stop. It's ta it's lobster. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day to okay. you. Okay. <laughs>